Welcome to the Bougie Black Brother Network. Good evening and welcome to Fade the Black Cinema. I'm Michael, your Bougie Black Brother. And we're here for our Asian Korean movie review. And I picked another one off Netflix and it's called Revenger. So absolutely a revenge movie if you didn't get it from the title i'll just let you know now it's a revenge movie so this one is korean and this one is basically one of those uh how would you say um, you kill my family i'll hunt you down and go from there and it's kind of one of those so the gist of the movie is uh it's this guy, he works for Interpol, and he kills off this uh, organized crime leader's um, team and organization. But for some reason, the head guy got away. Um, but before he got away, he killed his wife and his daughter. Um, so this guy, um, Kim Yul, he finds his way to the island because there's an island called AP-101 where notorious criminals are sent there um and the worst and the baddest get sent there and just dropped off to live on their own what's weird about this is you got a couple of people who's on there that don't seem like they're that psychotic to be there but there's a lot of big time you know just crazy killing people but it's a contrast between the two but anyway people are dropped off there so he winds up somehow and the plot line doesn't give you any of that most of what you get from it is you know, flashbacks of what actually went on as opposed to something new or explaining itself doesn't go into a lot of explaining it goes to dream um memories or actually just quick flashbacks of a, a thought here and there by daydreaming but uh the biggest thing is this guy, he comes back and he's looking for the, that head killer guy. And as he's head looking for him, he winds up on a beach where these people are tracking down uh, this woman and her daughter. He comes over there. He's in a straight jacket with a Hannibal Lecter kind of mask on his face. And the little girl, they're grabbing her. And he beats the shit out of him while he's in a straight jacket. So he's pretty goddamn good. But overall, this this thing is not really plot driven. It's just an easy go through. But think about uh, an action film on an island uh, with crazy criminals fighting against each other. But there's the only inner plot within that is... Um, the woman when her daughter, they're looking for this main guy, too, because he actually killed her husband or the, the girl, little girl's father, something in that manner. So they're looking for him, too. But this guy's on the other side of the island and he runs a whole organization there and they're capturing people and they're torturing people because obviously he's freaking crazy. So. They, they're trying to find a way over to get to him while um, the main character is having flashbacks of you killed my family. I chase you down. Uh, I actually knew that, you know, I set him on fire, but he was laughing at him. But somehow he got away and they 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 shipped him to the island and he has his own people there. So it's it's a cross between him. You know, he's that main character, really quiet type. He's really not saying much, you know, the strong, silent type. But he kicks ass all through this. And there's some, some really decent fight scenes in there. So it's, it's pretty, pretty good. Intricate, really something that's going to be like, whoa, did you see that? Oh, man, I want to see it again. Not that good enough, but pretty good. Um so if you really don't want, because a lot of the Korean movies are revenge, has some great plot lines that you can follow knowing why it's revenge. You, you looking at, wow, this is something I can understand why he's going after. But these are just flashes. So, you know, 
you killed my father, but he got on an island. But, you know, if your father's on there, then he's a criminal, too. You know what I mean? The mother's on there, but she's a criminal. But she had a baby while she was on there. So there's another character on there. He's He's got his hand cut off and he has a hook. And I was kind of like, what's his deal? But he's pretty funny. He's the low key leader of everyone. Um, but he's cowardly. Uh, but he has some great lines because they go back and forth from Korean to English. So they, they kind of play off in the language thing, which made it interesting because I didn't expect to hear that as well. But they made it a little interesting. But but that character on there was like pretty cool. Um, and he, he, he just kind of made it interesting, you know, because the plot scenes and everything wasn't as great. Um, but again, Revenger is on Netflix. You can check it out. The action scenes are like really, really cool. Um, under the context of the whole movie, uh, you can take a lot out of it and just say, I want to see a fight movie of one guy chasing another guy down to kick his ass at the end. And then he walks off into the sunset. It's <laughs> something in that matter, but not bad. So if you say, hey, look, do you should you skip this one or you stream it? I think because streaming is so easy to kind of put in and you and you can mentally be in the mood to kind of see a revenge movie or a really good fight scene movie um, outside of being in buildings and straight up. It's pretty, pretty good. And, you know, I, I kind of enjoyed it. Uh, I would recommend it if you're really looking for a plotless um, movie with pretty good fight scenes. But um, nothing that stands out to the point that you need to be explained. But check it out. It's it's called Revenger. Um, and you should stream it on Netflix. It's one of them that Netflix pulled out. And there's a couple of more that's in there. I'm in the middle of a, I think it's a Korean police revenge movie again but it's it's interesting because it's it's all about a guy searching for a serial killer that actually came back but one of the police officers father was an alleged serial killer um but he had mental issues and he joined the police force but the person who's coming back or who is alleged killer is setting him up like he's actually doing the crimes so this one is pretty, pretty good. And I'm, I'm trying to get through that before next week so we can do the review on that. But there's plenty of Asian movies and TV series that's out there that's very worth seeing. So I'm trying to find a couple of them that I enjoy. Uh, I'm not going backwards yet because there's so many new stuff that's out that I'm enjoying right now. And um, it's in the Asian factor. I'm normally grabbing a lot of Korean ones, but these are, you know, Last week I had Hong Kong, I had a Japanese one, uh, a Chinese, um, I think it was Malaysian, I believe. But uh, anyway, check us out on BushyBlackBrother.com or Fade to Black Cinema on all podcast downloads. And every Thursday for the Asian movies and every Wednesday for all regular movies as well as TV shows or TV movies. So thanks a lot, and we'll see you next week on Fade to Black Cinema. See ya.